Coach, it's it's been mentioned that that you guys only have one touchdown pass. I don't think South Florida has one. Do you you kind of know what they're gonna do, what their mo is, and also you, you know, kind of pressure to stop them so they don't run a bunch of clock on you? Yeah, they they run the football. Uh, they have a really good running game. Uh, I think they do a great job. They're probably one of the uh, best offensive line we face, uh, you know, all season. Uh, guys, are big up front, very athletic. Uh, have really good running backs. Uh, both you have a. Uh, you know, a bigger guy in zero who can get downhill quickly. Uh, that packs, he's around about 225, 230. Uh, then they have a number 21 scat back type guy that uh, once he hits a hole, he can get it. And um, and quarterback, you know, we got another running quarterback again this week. Uh, so they do a great job with schematics, with, uh, you know, running some quarterback run game as well as just, you know, normal tendencies of your, uh, your true, uh, you know, zone read and things of that nature with the backs breaking some tackles. Uh, so we got to do a better job this week um, uh, of what we didn't do in the second half and tackle. Uh, and, uh, and and limiting big explosive plays, and, and especially in the run game, we can't have that, and uh, we get that fixed this week. Brian, I guess when you look at, like you mentioned, obviously another running quarterback. Mm -hmm. When you look at, you know, uh, Gary compared to maybe some other ones you face, how does he kind of stack up, or who do you look at to maybe kind of get a little more preparation with those other quarterbacks? Well, I think he's similar to uh, you know Jordan Travis in a way, uh, maybe not as fast. Uh, he's a little bit bigger, um, you know. He he will try to, uh, you know, lower lower his shoulder on you, uh, as opposed to you know some quarterbacks may want to get down or get out of bounds. He he wants to bring the boom to you, to uh, to the defense and, uh, uh, but you know he's a physical runner, uh, does a great job of keeping his eyes downfield if he does scramble uh, to run the football. Uh, but I think the coordinator uh, Travis has done a really good job of getting him involved in the run game, uh, especially these last couple of games. So we got to do a great job of uh, gang tackling him and doing a great job of uh, defending the run. Brian Scott talked about their offensive line being maybe the best that you guys mm -hmm. have seen this year. How how good are they up front, and and what kind of challenge you know when they try to possess the ball with yeah. a good offensive line that does create challenges? They they are they are they're very athletic. Um, you know that's one thing I see. Uh, they move really well, uh, not only in the run game, but in the passing game as well. You know, they don't give up a whole lot of sacks. Uh, you know, and you kind of attribute that a little bit too to uh, they're getting the ball out really, really quickly in the passing game. And uh, so sometimes the D-line, they're not able to get there. And uh, uh, But it, it does create a challenge for us up front uh, to just make sure we, we're where we need to be, you know, and playing a little bit more physical game, uh, you know, this, uh, this coming up week uh, with, with those guys running the football as well as they do. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to we'll, we'll meet the challenge, and I think we will. Well, I know we will, and uh, so we'll be ready. Uh, come on, come on Saturday. Brian, you mentioned the, the tackling, especially in the run game. Was it similar to, to the first game where you thought guys were in the right positions but couldn't make the plays, or was this more of like a fit issue? From this Absolutely, game? I think it was just guys. We were there, you know. I mean, everybody see the film, and uh, you know our guys were there, and we just missed some tackles, and uh, and and I attribute that to just we just got to pull our trigger. You know, we're right there. Uh, just go ahead and pull your trigger. And uh, that's what we emphasize on Sunday again. Just say, hey, these are the same calls and the same fits that you had in the first half or even early in the third quarter. Uh, let's just go ahead and pull your trigger and fit. And uh, and the guys, they saw it on film, and they were excited uh, that it wasn't uh, as bad as we thought it would be um, schematically or whatnot. Uh, it was just guys that were there, and we just we just didn't fit and, uh, and, and make the tackle. So uh, we had a really good practice on Sunday, and, and we'll be ready to roll this week. Kind of sticking on that theme, obviously that was a problem in game one. How do you, how do you explain it kind of raising its head again uh, in game three when, when they already went through this yeah. humbling experience? Yeah, I, you, you really don't know. You know, I don't know if it's, uh, uh, you know, a little bit because the game got a little tight, you know, uh, in the fourth quarter uh, to where we were uh, not uh, going in there to make the play. Uh, but not going in there, uh, not to give up a big play, you know, in the run game, and I think that may have been a little, bit, little part of it too. Uh, game got a little tight, and uh, so that's why I told the guys, man, you, you guys just got to cut loose, cut loose and play. Uh, don't worry about mistakes. Just play fast, and and uh, you know when you play fast, you you kind of clean up some of the mistakes when you're playing fast and you pulling your trigger, and uh, and I think that that had a little bit to do with it. Coach has mentioned a couple of times the big play, that second and 14 when mm -hmm. they get the long pass. How many players kind of messed up on that play? Is it one or two guys? Is it a bunch of guys? Or Well, it really was just, you know, when you look at it, we just got to, you know, continue to practice those situations when it's, you know, kind of a one-man route, kind of two-man two, two -man route type deals when you're playing a cover-two concept. 
uh, and just making sure that our depth is correct at, at the safety position. Uh, you know, as well as, you know, we just got to do a, a better job when we see pass in a clouded concept uh, that, you know, we will get hands on that receiver and help that safety out from a corner standpoint as well. Uh, you know, but you, you kind of want to be in that, that coverage for that route. Uh, but we just didn't execute, and uh, we'll put those guys in more situations like that uh, so they can execute on game day. Sort of along that same line, mm -hmm. it was uh, Coach was mentioning earlier, you had, I think, 10 tackles for loss against a team that had very few before, yeah. but also gave up a good number of big plays. Yes. Is there a common thread on the big plays, whether it is missed assignments, confusion, missed tackles? I'm, I'm sure a little of all, yeah. but yeah. what's is there a common thread there at all? I think some of it is just, uh, you know, when you look at early on in the game, I think some of it is just eye control. You know, the jitters of the game, the very beginning of the game, we had some eye control discipline uh, uh, actions that, you know, gave up a couple of big plays. Uh, you know, and then I think some of it is, you know, just some of the technique that, that you know, uh, some of our guys wasn't, uh, you know, wasn't playing uh, as well. And we, we getting back to the fundamentals again uh, today and on Sunday, uh, just playing the correct technique. Uh, but, you know, I don't think it's confusion uh, because the guys, you know, they wasn't confused. They were where they needed to be. Uh, on some of those plays, um, you know, it was just uh, at times the quarterback threw it perfectly. I mean, on that post ball, that was a perfect, perfectly thrown ball. Uh, on the bang eight on, uh, you know, on dread, uh, it was a perfectly thrown ball. The the touchdown on the third down play in the back corner of the end zone, that was a perfectly thrown ball, you know. Uh, so uh, give credit to those guys. They made some plays, you know, and, and we were there. And uh, uh, we just got to make sure we make more plays this week uh, than they make on uh, on Saturday. Brian, when, <clears throat> excuse me. When going back and looking at the film from Friday, why do you think it was that in that first quarter the secondary seemed to struggle a little bit through the air against Travis, and then late in that fourth quarter against Rotomaker? Well, I think first on uh, that's what I was saying earlier is just some of the eye control discipline, you know, actions. Um, you know, if I have a tight end, I have the tight end. You know, um, you know, and I think later on in the game, uh, I think he made um, uh, the backup quarterback came in and, and completed six balls. Uh, which was, you know, the deep post ball, the the little slant, um, you know, the the bang eight uh, twice, and and then the fade ball. Um, you know, it was more so just, you know, a couple of times we were there and just didn't make the play. Um, you know, I think it's just, uh, you know, we just got to execute. We just got to execute better, and we got to put those guys in situations in practice to make sure that they feel more comfortable in game day uh, to execute a little bit better. Good. I appreciate it.